Hello guys, and today I'll be bringing you my setup tour of 2016. Um, now it's been refreshed with uh, a few new items, uh, some some little things like that, or I say little, some minor things you may remember, like that monitor there. Um, I think that's about it for the, for the uh, things that have been there for, for um, or and the, and the desk obviously, but apart from that it's all different. Pretty much new new computers, new hubs, um, new set of speakers. But what I say new that they're uh, an old uh, surround sound system. But I only use two speakers, so um, it's good enough. So let's get straight on with it now. So behind that um, left, left speaker, you see a speaker again. Uh, this is a Sonos Play 3 that I just got. It's the uh, obviously you can see it's the uh, it's the grey one or, or the black one, whatever you want to call it. Um, I, I love it. I, I love the fact that I compare it to my uh, old Play 1. That cable's annoying me. Not like being pulled on a bit. Just reach around there. I'll have to do. I'll put that, that out soon. Um, I like Sonos. Um, I did a, a video on, on it last year. I still need to film a video about this Sonos. I've just not got, uh, got a chance yet as um, next week, all the week, all the week, I've got nine exams all together to prepare for, so I've, I've not got much time to make, make videos and stuff. And moving along, uh, obviously, as I said before, I've got my left channel speaker and my Samsung TV, which I use as a monitor through the VGA port. Um, but this is a 22 inch full HD TV, so it's obviously got support for 1080p as with, as with these two monitors. Uh, well, I say, well, one's a computer. Um, then behind that, just hiding behind that, we have my uh, house phone system and the packet for a, a Weather's Mint. Bin that. Um, yeah, I don't really use that unless we get a, a phone call. I mainly just use either uh, calls, calls from my iPhone on, on the Mac or calls actually on my iPhone when it's on the dock or, or on the watch. No. Um, <laughs> then we have my USB super drive now. Mainly that's used for when I buy new new DVDs um, to rip them onto onto my library as like a backup solution. Uh, but apart from that, maybe the, the odd burning of a uh, a CD image like or a Windows disk. I've got a few of them lying around. It's dusty. For some reason my room gets quite. Dusty as well, if you, if you notice. It don't it don't put put me off too much. Is that there is it? Just a, just a shadow. Oh, it's definitely dirt. Um. So yeah, this is costs sixty five pounds. I could get some less, uh, a lot cheaper, but but the quality is less. And this is a um a slot loading drive. Um, whereas when you like get like a tenner, it'll be um, so once we use the press button and the tray and the flap lifts up and you just put it in, it's like old fashioned like manual sort of thing. It's cheap. But anyway, moving along, we have my keyboard and mouse of choice. Uh, in terms of the mouse, we have the Apple um, Magic Trackpad. This is the first generation. Uh, I, I like it better than the. Uh, Second generation because of the color and design. And here we have my um, Apple wireless keyboard. And this is um, again not the Magic Keyboard. It's a bit different. As you can see, if I just turn it around, the design is uh, has like got that bit of a hole in it. As it's not really focusing that well. The autofocus on iPads isn't that great. 
Is it, is it, is it going to do it today? There we go. So it's got that little that gap going there, there, which I like because it, it makes it look like a, a fluid effect, even though it's obviously not. This, this is my favourite keyboard design, I like, I like uh, chick, chiclet style keys. Um, although I, I can type pretty well on the old, uh, well, I say, I say mechanical keyboards. They got that, those style keys, but they're actually uh, chiclet key, uh, chiclet like keys, like on, on the board and stuff. Um, obviously, Apple computer, Apple, Apple peripherals and stuff. And then you move along, and you see my Anker seven, eight no Anker eight port uh, aluminium aluminium USB hub. I could have got one in the same design as the keyboard and mouse, like you know, got that curve, but I didn't really like that one. Um, so it's a bit wonky. Um, and I love the design of it, of this one, although it's a bit if you don't have it on like. I've got my on top of some blue tech or if you know I have it on support it, it can be a bit like a bit slippery so what I've just done uh, I could use a uh, double tape, tape or something or some pads then we have my Apple lightning dock this is this has my iPhone 6 on it uh, currently silver 16 gigabytes uh, but it's, it's not charging. Um, it's just uh, there for show for now because my phone came came with band there, but it's difficult in where my phone needs a charge, but it doesn't need a charge at this point in time, so I'm not gonna worry about that. Um, and then here we have my Dell P twenty two fourteen H, obviously twenty inch monitor. Uh, same resolution as the iMac and same screen size, pretty much. That was about um, half an inch uh, bigger, but I can't really tell the difference. So yeah, um, <laughs> this has got a variety of inputs. Uh, again, I might do a video. If you want to see that, then just uh, like this video. Um, it's got it's got DVI, VGA, and display port. As well as two USB ports at the top there for like under the here for like keyboard and mouse, but I've got the port cover on it, so I can't really get to them. It's more like a permanent solution if you want the port port cover on to cover up all the uh, ports and stuff. Obviously, um, it's got this nice design, so I could uh, turn it turn it uh, portrait if I wanted to. Uh, I could bring it up. I, I could bring it down. Uh, I, I can, I can uh, it's got this tw twivel stand so I could just turn it like that. And it's even got enough like support on the stand to pretty much be able to turn the monitor uh, without holding the base as well, which is pretty cool. And I'll, that's going to irritate the hell out of me because it's not straight. <laughs> Um, OCD life. Um, no, yeah. So that's good. Then we have my right channel speaker, same same speaker as the left channel. Then just behind that we have my surround sound speakers. One of them for my surround sound for the home cinema or the TV system. Uh, down here we have my two terabyte drive, a BT hub, which I, I I've coded to use as an access point. So about the camera, by the way, guys. It's my LED lights. Um, then we have um, behind that we have some face supplies and and deodorant and stuff. Then we have my big subwoofer. It's not too big, but it's it's large for the. Oh, well, it's this might so big. It's it's because it's designed for like a home cinema. That's like a, a powerful like movies and stuff. Then we have the amp. This this is like a, a quick add-in, so it's not really finalised as of yet. I still need to find a um, a more suitable place for it. But for now, it's just there. It's easy, so I can just kick kick my foot on the uh, power button to to um, 
higher, higher. Rather than having to reach it down. Again, the volume is controlled on the, on the Mac itself, so it's that, that, that's we're gonna on that basis. Then I got my um, 10 plug power strip from the range. It's a like a, a big shop here in the UK. If you if you don't know, and then we got bin. It's a bit broken. Doesn't have a uh, the inner base like the inner container. Uh, but yeah. Then we got my um, cabinet apple drawer. There's pretty much nothing in there that's non apple, except this um, 30 pin to lightning, which I got from Powerland, uh, and that was the, where the headphone jack was, but it wouldn't fit on uh, on an iPhone 6. So it was designed for like a, a 5C or something. So it didn't fit on, um, so I had to uh, like pry it off in a way. Yeah, so it's full of Apple stuff. Drawer full of literally rubbish and stuff. I've got my fisheye lens that I got for my birthday last year as a little thing, as a little something, but I've rarely ever used it, it's pretty good. Drawer full of tech tools that. In insulation discs, RAM sticks, hard drives, and stuff, and, and then a drawer full of cables. Two two BJ cables in there conceived, which is all handy. And they've got a wristband. Okay. Um then down here we have plug sockets and another uh, hub was hub or switch or or router. M mainly use it as a switch, although it's made to be a is a, a, a ADSL router modem access point combined. So yeah, um, obviously it, I've got a better one now, so I've, I've used this as a switch. Thanks for watching this video today, guys, and I'll see you in my next one, which uh, might be a while away, because you know I would have mentioned about my exams and stuff. But if you made it. If you made it to the end of the video, comment, comment, hashtag techburst setup hype, uh, and I'll see you in the next video.